Hi, this is Shobhus from Codeboxer. In this video, we will show you how to configure CVX bookmark plugin for WordPress after you install and activated this plugin. In this video, I will skip the installation and activation process, but I will show you how to configure the most important features of CVX bookmark. So after install, we will find the plugin activated and it will show the settings from here or we can find the settings from here. So the most important settings uh, here is selecting the post types. And another is how in the my bookmark page the bookmarks will be shown so here I'm showing the post type selection this will show the uh, custom post types as well as the built-in post types built-in are uh, the code plugins feature and custom post types are uh, the pro add-ons feature so suppose I have the post and pages selected but uh, you can see that the post type auto integration is not selected here so here I can see media and uh, there will be others but I don't see them here that means the post type we select here are displayed for auto integration here so sometimes people ask uh, I have selected some post but it's not showing in the auto integration like if I go to the front end there is no auto integration or automatically uh, displaying of the bookmark button but if I enable for post then I if I go to the product post details I can see the bookmark button if I go to the archive page of home page I can see the bookmark button okay the second most important settings is the how the my bookmark space will be shown so as soon as you activate our plugin our plugin try to create a page automatically uh, with some short code inserted so this my bookmarks is actually a page created by our plugin or you can create yourself and uh, then you can select it from here then the second option is the my bookmark page method we have two methods one is customizer another is shortcut actually we recommended the customizer method because it's easy for regular user who doesn't uh, know about shortcut or doesn't know about shortcut parameters so the default option is uh, shortcut uh, sorry the default default option is customizer method so if I choose customizer then what will happen suppose if I want to go uh, to the my bookmark page I can go from here so this is actually page and you can access from all pages also I will access from here for easy navigation you can see there are some short codes but these short codes are not actually working in this space because we have selected the customizer method so anything in this space used as short code uh, from our plugin actually we inserted this while you create this space this is not actually uh, working From where these uh, categories, all bookmarks or grid are coming, it's actually coming from the customizer option. That means we can go to the customizer, you will find the my uh, CVX bookmark and pl uh, favorite plugin, and from there you can enable the modules. I have enabled categories list and grid. Suppose I can disable categories, I can publish, 
it's disabled you can go from here also if you click here directly you, you will go to the customizer settings directly and the same way for any module like categories bookmark list or grid view whatever the uh, options you use here you can check individual settings and you can show on off and other things like allow delete off allow delete all off so they, they will be automatically dissolved from here okay so if we choose short code method from here sorry then we'll have the full control of how you want in that case uh, we have to use the short code and its parameters uh, here is the basic short code inserted but you have to add whatever you need as per your own need so to do this you have to find for cbx bookmark plugin then you can check its documentation we have uh, the shortcut params and details uh, added here if you are uh, known with shortcut params then you can add them and uh, configure as your own one issue we find uh, with lots of customer that sometimes they create their own by my bookmark page and they select it from there they choose the customizer method or short code or whatever uh, you have to keep in mind that if you create your own my bookmark space I mean the page that we create from our plugin uh, if it's not the same page then you have to choose from here so that from the front end or any other places if, if you want to uh, come back to the my bookmark page uh, the URL will be will work properly and another thing is if you use uh, suppose uh, if I check the customizer method you can see that at the end that there, there is an automatic uh, URL already inserted that is my bookmark page this is the page created by a plugin but if you put another uh, page as my bookmark page then you have to configure this if you would use the short code method then uh, you have to configure in that way so short code actually use the configuration used in the backend settings so you have to check this carefully uh, so that this uh, url and other things i mean either short code or customizer and the base url of my bookmark space works perfectly so I, I i wanted to make this clear because uh, I, I we always get lots of questions from customer about this very and uh, very basic and important features of a civics bookmark plugin and thank you for checking this uh, we'll bring more videos uh, describing more uh, settings and options uh, of this plugin thank you